holds the key, the opportunity to work hard, and particularly the way in which families will reach down and elevate their children. And so now, as, as you look, you'll find that Vietnamese uh, refugees are serving uh, in legislatures. They're, they have, many of them have their own businesses. They're uh, uh, found, they're, they're really integrated into our society in, in every way. And so from tragedy to um, now to the triumph of the human spirit and human opportunity, they have uh, demonstrated that the American dream is still possible. It doesn't matter what's the color of your skin, what's the religion you practice, what's the language you speak uh, when you come, because almost everyone speaks a different language than English um, uh, when, when, uh, when they first arrive, uh, that you can be an American and you can be uh, happy, and you can be a uh, success. Um, February 5th, 2019, is the Lunar New Year. In Vietnam, it's referred to as Tet. Um, Tet had a, a big role in <clears throat> 1968 in the war, the Tet Offensive. Um, so when you celebrate Tet, uh, it's customary to have wishes that are exchanged. When you meet somebody, you say to them, oh, I, uh, I wish you in the new year that you have great happiness and good health and prosperity and uh, all things that you might wish. So that's thousands of years old tradition in uh, China and Vietnam um, and it's a reminder, as um, we do this interview of Tet, that those wishes are particularly significant in America. Now, that 130,000 initial refugees who came in 1975 uh, grew to over a million refugees. Um, and this uh, came when the boat people refugees started uh, fleeing from Vietnam in about 1978. They would, uh, families who believed they had no future uh, in South Vietnam would get on very small boats late at night 